Welcome to the Under 18 National Championships hosted by Lacrosse WA at the Wembley Lacrosse Club. We are in our second last game of pool play today with South Australia taking on New Zealand's Waikato. Joining me today in commentary is Emma Green, current member of the West Australian Senior Women's Team and Subiaco Lacrosse Club. Welcome, Emma. Thank you so much for having me. It's great to have you with us, Emma. That first centre is drawn and won by South Australia with possession going to Holly Dinney. Holly Ginny just working the ball around the top of the fan. Good D by Waikato. What are you looking forward to seeing here today, Em? Well, I know throughout the week that Waikato have been really good on their defence. They've been pushing hard um, in transition all the time. And obviously, SA have really good skill as well, as well as their great shots. Yep. Um, and there's a shot there from SA by... Ashlyn May, but she couldn't convert in a big save by Waikato. Sorry, Em, you can continue. So um, I think it's going to be a really hard for game by Waikato. Um, awesome run down by number 11. With a shot. Backed up. It looks like it's going to go the way of SA, which it will. Brought in by plays. There was three back up from SA and great to get the keeper out there, as well as two from Waikato. Unlucky on Waikato for that one. You really need to be backing up those shots. Unfortunately, it's just one of those things, if you can't get there, it just run down the field for yeah, nothing. It's a bit of transition. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit of, yeah. And if you're that player that brought it down, it can be a little frustrating. Tiring game, especially in this heat. I believe it's 26 today. Yeah, it was 23 when we started out earlier, so we must be getting up there. Um, nice and hot, like I said on the broadcast earlier. I don't know how these girls will go playing in the heat. Like, obviously, New Zealand's a lot colder than yeah. Here. But the advantage for West Australians is that we are used to playing in it. Very used to it, especially coming off summer. It's very hot here all the time. <laughs> yeah. As we see um, South Australia getting their ball deep into their attacking zone, taking it through to X with a drive. Everyone has been talking number three up from SA all week, which is Holly Dinney, and she has had an amazing week. Sorry, number six, Mia Inge, and deservedly so as SA looking to penetrate this Waikato defence. Lawson with the ball. Marked by Natalia Walker. Looking for a feed inside. Finds one. Shot. Oh, good save. Yeah, that was a great save. These goalies are, you know, having outstanding weeks. So this is the future of our under-20s World Cup program for both Australia and New Zealand. We're in good hands. Great transition by Waikato. Number nine looking for a pass. Yep. Katie Hollands with the ball. So there is two Holland sisters in this team, both as fast as each other. And there will be a foul. Oh, she's broken. Umpire's like, not today. And I was mentioning, M, I've said it in the last couple of games that I've talked through or commentated, is that um, the fan is now a 15 and mm -hmm. that fan cut off on the 11 is no longer there, which means the fan extends to goal light extended. Mm -hmm. It's huge. It's massive. So hard to defend. Yeah. And how are we going to go with a three-second rule? Um, I mean, we're playing on Tuesday on Anzac Day, mm -hmm. Subiaco versus Wembley. Um, we're really going to get a test of what the size of that fan oh, is yeah. like. Yeah. Definitely, for sure. Especially... No experience with that whatsoever. Oh, great shot. Casey with four. the ball feeds it to Lawson and a goal there to open the scoring. Great teamwork there by SA. Yeah, they're a unit. Like, they seem to really play together as a team. They've obviously been training for some time. Mm -hmm. They link up really well. Their all-round skills and connections are just very mature, I think, as well. Yeah, even after watching them last year in um, the under-15s, like a f quite a few of those girls are playing in this team. For example, India Capella, um, amazing stick work, amazing players for, for such young athletes. I but not a bad thing. I believe some of them as well um, have actually just come off the under-23s Australian team as well. So Oh, um, the two out of the US? The Yes. Oh, wow. Number six. Okay, Mia Inge. Mia Inge and uh, Holly as well, number three. So SA wins that centre draw. Looking to work the ball around the crease. Got Kate Osborne with the ball, looking for a feed inside. Oh, finds, good pick up. Finds the stick of Dinny, but couldn't convert. Backed up well by SA.
Looks like SA have isolated all their players to the top for a drive from the back for Mia Inge. They're possibly going to send some cutters. Mia Inge looking to step inside. Find space. Oh, hits the pipe. Backed up well by SA. That was well defended as well by Waikato on yeah, that. 100%. This player, number one, who's um, on the ball now from Waikato, Malal, she was outstanding yesterday running the ball out of uh, Waikato's defence. Yeah, she was incredible. I believe she got MVP as yeah, well on that did. one too. Yeah, she did. She did. Well deserved. <laughs> and here she is again. Look, broken free. Although they've found a clear in. Have they found a clear? Oh, that's going to be a restart. Umpire's calling it back again. Great intercept by SA, but not actually an intercept. Alana Ig there. Got to find one now. And does in number seven, Meg Hazlett. Had a huge impact on yesterday's game. Got some wheels on her too. Bit of a push by SA. Holly Dinney. Oh, beautiful one too for those girls. Looking into the middle. And a shot. Brian Nicole Hollands, but doesn't manage to convert. Battle for the ground ball. Great save from the goalie. Umpire's just calling the setup to make sure the Waikato attack get a four metre advantage on that foul. If you look, M on this right hand side of the fan, there is absolutely no one over here. I think Waikato have just identified that. Um, I was like, are they trying to set up a play? Why are they leaving this right-hand side so open? What's happening? Yeah, they definitely need some numbers out on the other side for a couple of outlets, I think. Yeah, But look how wide this um, attack is set up because of this new 15 metre. It's huge. Oh, great pick up. And Holly Dinny is off to the races. Look at her go. Burns past a couple, takes it wide, waiting for her SA teammates to get down the field. Oh, that was a great cut by number 10 there. Couldn't quite convert on that feed. Waikato keeper with the ball. Looking for an outlet. Remember, folks, if you are tuning in from home, please get your comments on the Facebook so we can give you a shout out and your girls can know that you are listening. You are being brought this game today by the Australian Lacrosse Network, live and free. For those who don't know, my name is Shendell Oliver and it's my pleasure to be here today with Emma Green from the Subiaco Lacrosse Club. Big drive coming from SA, from Alana Igg. Umpires have seen something. Hollands will take the ball. Looking for a quick transition. Player being put behind, which is Kate Osborne. Hollands better move that ball because two SA girls were coming fast. Malal with the ball now. Ooh, big push. Umpires have seen it too. Mia Inge being given a foul. Waikato bumping the ball across to Holly Harris. Harris just avoiding a little check there. She's got some great stick work. Mm, SA girls everywhere defending that transition. Great work by them. Yeah, and the volume you can hear coming off their defense as well. Waikato looking inside for a oh, shot. Oh, that was a beautiful take. Yeah, and unfortunately she couldn't convert, but yeah, that was there was so much momentum in that shot. Waikato just working the ball around the top of the fan, looking to try and penetrate that South Australian defence. There's been a cover, which means that Waikato will get the ball back, which is Eden Bennett. Bennett setting up on the 15 metre for a free possession. If you look down this right-hand side, there's two Waikato girls basically naked. She's got a few options. She's going to go straight to the cooker. And oh, does. Beautiful. Yeah, that is a textbook 15 metre shot. As we reset, um, why can't they seem to have these big amounts of subs? They kind of must bring a whole string off and get a whole string on, but they do it really well. 
Just looking at the comments, I've got Margaret Quintal, Go Waikato, Lynn Hyron watching from Melbourne. Thanks, Grandma Lynn. So glad you're joining us. I know you're the TV star in the US, but glad to have you online. Lou Kibby, Go Waikato. Julie Bryan, Go Waikato. Heaps of Waikato fans. Charlotte Ween and Kels. You, hey, Charlotte. Charlotte is the Australian lead of the... Um, Oh, how am I going to describe Charlotte? Um, box lacrosse ambassadors here in Australia as we get back to play. Great take by Inge and a shot off the top pipe. SA just getting that back. Little bit of a push. They play straight on. Oh, great look in. Even the way she took that ball under pressure and finds the right option by bringing it out. Marketo's defence is so good right now, just finding all the players. But Inge putting her mark on this game early. As we see this whole stream of Waikato players coming off the field again. Taking the centre for South Australia is number 21, Leah Kaisler. And I'm just trying to see who that is. I think it's Nicole Hollands, or maybe Nicole's on the wing there. Could be Bridget Hill. Player down. Fight for the ground ball. Picked up by Hollands. Surrounded Ooh. by SA players. That was a bit of a check there, and that's going to be a card. For a swipe. The way the umpire really gave it to that swipe. Motion. Sees number four, Kelsey Lawson taking a seat for two minutes. Which means Waikato will have a two man up two minute man up advantage on the field. Making it much harder for South Australia to defend. Oh, oh and Hollands finds an opening but couldn't connect with that pass. And SA will run the ball out. And by has seen something. I think that might be a uh, offside call. And they've got two Waikato players down there. SA screaming back inside. What do you make of the pace of the game so far, Em? Oh, Waikato just pushed them. Honestly, they're just so fit. Um, I was honestly kind of expecting it to be... Um, a little bit more settled, but I think just overall, no one has really set up a proper attack yet for Waikato. But I think SA, yeah, it's just hard to tell how this game's going to look. Yeah. It's Ooh, definitely high collision. intensity. Two players down, both getting up as the ball is fastly making its way back to SA. Defense, big body there. Knock the player's stopper off. Jade Mangan. Ball just at the back of the SA attacking zone. Waikato player looking for a, a man before getting called, sorry, a woman before getting called for three seconds. Waikato applying pressure now. Good defense. Oh, the doubles come and come hard. There is a push being called. Katie Holland's being put behind for the foul. Lily Whitty with the ball, taking the pressure well. The ball has been knocked out of bounds from the check, so I think it will be considered another body, which means Whitty will retain possession. Lawson running back on, making it even. Yeah, that was quite a good run on. She could have snuck in there. Leah Casey with the ball. Gets it to Kelsey Lawson. Lawson looking to drive. Big crash by Wakato. That's a free space call. Great drive by Lawson. As we set up for a 15 metre shot. And a goal. Beautiful finish by Lawson. Keely Lawson, number four, puts it in the back of the net for South Australia. 
Yeah, I think we're going to have a game on our hands today, Em. I totally agree. Just looking at the comments again, I've got Justin Litchfield, SA, Charlotte Weenan. Let's go, Red. She's not going to stop all day. Charlotte, keep sending me your messages. I love hearing from you. As we set up for the centre. Hollands versus, hmm, who is that from SA? I can't see the number from this angle. I'm sorry, I can't tell you at home. Ball draws to ground, picked up by Lily Hayes. Hayes bringing the ball down the field. Good pressure by Waiketo on that. Kelsey Lawson with the ball again. I feel like she's going to have a big impact on today's game. She after definitely is. What she's done so far. Indy Capella with the ball. I believe she's straight out of under 15s. She was a star player in that Comets team last year. Looking to shoot, but that is the end of the first quarter here on the Australian Lacrosse Network with Wakato taking on South Australia. And if my information serves me correctly, score is 3-1 in favour of South Australia. Remember, please leave your comments on our Facebook page and I'm happy to read them out. Give your favourite players a shout out. In the meantime, we'll take a quick break and be back in just a moment at, to start the second quarter. Welcome back to the 2023 Under 18 Australian Lacrosse National Championships brought to you live and free by the Australian Lacrosse Network. My name is Shendo Oliver and I'm joined here by Emma Green from the Subiaco Lacrosse Club. And it's our pleasure to bring you this game today between South Australia and Waikato from New Zealand. Score is currently 3-1 in favour of South Australia as we set up for the centre draw of the second quarter. The battle for the ground ball. We've got two SA girls in there versus one player from Waikato. SA coming up with that ball. Nicole Holland's defending heavily on Leah Kaisler. Waikato really heavily marking this player trying to drive in, which is Kelsey Lawson. And Lawson will get a 15 metre shot. Looks inside to find Holly Dinney. Big save. Crumbed oh, great by, pick up. Crumb by Dinney. And that's a goal. SA seem really fired up for this game today, but so equally do Waikato. I know you're a big fan of the Waikato girls, Em. I am. I love the Waikato girls. Love their intensity. They just fight hard every single game. Love to see it. Sounds a bit like Subi. <laughs> Maybe it's the similar colours. It is, very similar colours. 
We're back at the draw. And a clean sweep there by Leah Kaisler. Leah, I did check spelling or pronunciation of your name before I went live on ALN today to make sure we got it right. Got Ashlyn May from Burnside at the back. And a shot by Holly Dinney. Didn't convert, but SA have backed that up. Looks like Ashlyn May is really going to be that X player today, as in X player at X. She can also be the X factor if she wants to. Wakato well, really following those um, cutters through from SA. And there's a crash, a big crash from Wakato. Saved by the keeper, crumbed, couldn't grab it as SA run the ball out of defence. SA with the numbers now. Holly Putting Harris that pressure on. We're going to have a card. Holly Dinney taking a seat for a push. What does that mean, Em? Tell the viewers at home. Well, basically a push. No, no. What does a yellow card mean? Oh. What's the advantage? Yellow oh, card. Player up. There's a goal. We missed a goal because we were too busy talking to each other. But that goal was scored by, I think, number two, which is Eden Bennett. Eden was, had quite a big impact on the game yesterday. But anyway, back to what the yellow card means. So I believe they'll be up a player for about two minutes, I think it is. Yep. Extra man advantage on the field. So SA will play man down, as we can see Ashlyn May coming off the field for a quick break as well as Kelsey Lawson and Taylor Mangan. For those who don't know, Taylor Mangan is the daughter of Trish Adams, the previous Australian women's coach, who will be joining me later on the broadcast. Does Wakato get possession? Oh, no, sorry, SA get possession. Looks like there was a break from Holland. Shield with the ball. Being held, finds an opening in Alana Igg. Beautiful Igg. take and finish I on know, that one. I know, that was a really awkward off stick side pass which she managed to grab onto and put in the back of the net. Well done, Alana Igg. And I'm pretty sure that was Dinny that fed that to her. No, it wasn't Dinny, sorry, that was um, Mia Inge. Who have we got in the centre there? Is it Nicole Hollands? For Waikato. It's hard to tell. I know, when they're on the side. Number 11, oh, yep, Nicole Hollands. Oh, a bit of a fumble from Waikato. Competition for the ground ball now. Knocked out by Waikato, which means that the ball will be brought back in by Lily Hayes from the Glenelg Lacrosse Club. Love those stick birds. Holly grabs that ground ball. Bennett putting a bit of pressure on Holly as she cruises on pass into SA's attack. Malal playing some strong defense there on Mia Inge, ready to put some pressure on high sticks. Inge looking inside. Oh, Inge with a shot and a beautiful goal, top right hand corner. How many is that for her today? That must be number three at least. At least. Such a solid player. There's a timeout being called on the field. So we will jump on the Facebook and check out the comments to see who wants to give us a, give us a holler. Got heaps of comments coming in hot from this game. And I've seemed to have lost the Australian Lacrosse Network myself. So bear with us. We've got Amelia Ford saying, go Eden Gold, get another one. Ella Malal, go Noga. Ella Malal, yes, Wakato. Charlotte Ween and Alana How's the skills. Obviously, you're very heavily involved with her, Charlotte. And say Minge is what you call her, you little ripper. Finesse Queen. Emily Adock. 
Oh, she's watching. So thanks for dialing in. But anyway, we we, we get back to play. And you are watching live and free on the Australian Lacrosse Network. Big shout out to our techs who are up on the balcony here at the Wembley Lacrosse Club doing a fantastic job managing lights, sounds, cameras and everything else, taking photos, uploading epic footage to the ALN Instagram account as we get back to play. And we have a draw, two long handles. Who's going to pick it up? Looks like Meg Hazlitt again. She's pretty dominant in that face-off. Looking for help. Finds out, I think, uh, no, that's not Bennett. That is Bingham. And the hot Ford Hart ball there, we'll see. Alani Lip take possession. Moves it on early to Holly Dinney. Gets it behind to Kate Osborne. Looking to drive. Oh no, wait, maybe that is Mia Inge. It's hard to see the number if I've got a six or an eight, but there's going to be a foul on that one. Big push. It's a yellow card, and that is going to be awarded to M. Who has got that card? I believe it's Sophie Laurent with that card. So Sophie Laurent will take a seat for two minutes, have a bit of a break, think about what she's done in the, the naughty, naughty corner. <laughs> the sin bin, as we called it at Box Lacrosse early this year. Heaps of options there for SA. Look, looks inside for a shot, finds a feed with Lily Hayes, and Hayes converts. Beautiful team play there by SA. Waikato making some personnel changes and we're seeing Leah Casely going back on the field as well as Kelsey Lawson for SA. A full bench change as well for SA. the face off I'm pretty sure we've got Hill I'm not sure who I can't see the SA player yet because I can see the umpire in the way taking on Leah Kaysler Hill wins that center finds an opening on her right hand side SA organizing their defense but they've left Nicole Hollands open she shoots hits the keeper but there was a whistle I think that's a free space call. Nope, maybe in the crease because the keeper's got the ball. Ball's being run out. And D, it looks like Jade Mangan. I think I could be wrong. I can't see her number. Oh, sorry, no, it's Kelsey Lawson. Bear with us, guys. I haven't seen a lot of these girls play just yet, so I'm still learning exactly who they are, but I'm doing my best. Em and I have got bits of paper. You might hear us flapping them around trying to work out who players are. We're happy to be here. And there is a foul. SA have got Alana Igg hanging outside there on the right-hand side of the fan if she sees her. Instead, she finds another player. We're back to even on the field. So Bennett is back on. Holly Dinney setting up on the There's one meter. right on the goal line. Yeah, the one in. you've just called. Alana, not Alana, sorry, Ashlyn May. Couldn't, couldn't take that one, but retained by Lily Whitty. Whitty running the ball down to X. Oh, great, great defense. Check. Yeah. 
We both said it at the same time. Hollands takes off. Ball's been brought back. There is a body call. Which we'll see Lily Whitty take the ball to X. Got Alana Igg who just cut through the middle. few off-ball peaks that we can see are happening. Yep. Ashlyn May was just on the ground. Good backup for SA. Looks like um, Alana Igg and Ashlyn May are trying to make something happen here at the top right-hand side of the mm. fan. They're, they're super close. There's obviously some picks happening. There's also picks on the other side. So this is obviously their play. Sorry to, to count, to sh just to uh, mention that with the Victorian coaches are watching. But she takes a shot. They've isolated a player. She's taken a shot. Hit the top pipe. Waikato players ha happy with that turnover. And Hill will take the ball. I've got Malal in the middle looking for support, but I'm not sure that that's the right place to be trying to be asking for the ball. Taking the ball in the centre of the fan to run it out of defence. Hill with the ball now, just cruising her way down the field. Avoids a little check. Oh, and a bit of a body, that's going to be called. I think Leah Kaisler's got that foul. SA looking big with their sticks high. Offside! SA's been called off offside from the balcony, but they got back just in time. I don't think the refs recognised it. I've got my own little helpers here on the balcony here making the calls, which helps me recognise things that's happening on the field as well. As we're now in the attack side of Wakato's offence. Bennett with the ball at the back corner, just running, run, running at round X. Great take there by the Waikato player. I'm just trying to see what number she is. Hollands with the ball. Oh, yeah. Should be getting number free nine. position. Yep, and she will be. Her sister's setting up on the other side. I think she's going for the backup. SA all One around One free her. on goal line extended. Holland sets up again. She's in her left. Big crash by SA. Retained by Bennett. Bennett tries to connect with Hill but can't. That's okay. Malal's got the ball. A player's come over for her so she's not offside. Malal just streaking through looking for a feed. Finds one. Couldn't connect. Picked up by number three from Waikato. I've just got to see who she is. Bigham. Bigham to Hill. Hill looking for a shot. It's gone wide. Banks will bring it in. Finds, oh, Nicole Hollands was pretty much on the doorstep by interference to disrupt that shot from the goalkeeper. Nicole Hollands retains possession. Nicole Hollands was a superstar last year in the Under-15 National Championships, which was only here about six or seven months ago. And here she is playing under-18s now. Finds a cutter. Hollands with a great cut and finish there. Sister to sister, and they're happy about it. Have you got a sister, Em? Two. Oh, do either of them play lacrosse? Been trying. I was like, that could be you. Working on it. Get them down to Subi. Coach is happy with that. A few personnel changes by SA. As we see Hollands taking the centre. No, it's Hazlitt taking the centre for Waikato. And Lily Hayes for SA. 
Ashlyn May coming off the field to have a bit of a breather. Ball picked up by Kate Osborne and being run down to SA's attack. Immediate contact there from Waikato, but it's going to be pulled as a foul. I think a bit of a, a mini cross check, if that's such a thing. Heaps of talk coming out of that Waikato defence. Contact made with Mia Inge she's trying to take a pass. Mia lining up to shoot. Big shot by Waikato. Drops it low. Beautiful bouncer and converts. Mia Inge is such a huge part of this SA team. As we get back to the centre, Waikato defenders just chatting to each other, working out what's up. As time ticks down in this second quarter of this national championship pool play game. Oh, great pick up by number eight for SA, Osborne. Score is 3-8 as we're just about to end this quarter. Coaches from the S from the Waikato box calling a lot of defense. I don't want to get a shot off before this halftime break. Oh, calling a crash, but there is a inside shot. roll. Oh, you love that, don't you? I do love it. Kate Osborne with that finish. And that is time on this second quarter. We're at, ha we're at the half now of this game. Score is three to nine. And I'll just jump on the comments and see who's around. Charlotte Weenan again. Lily, the team just is, sorry, the team play is just elite. Well, I agree with you, it is. Again, Charlotte, Eden, that D, those one percenters. Tanya Moore, go Waikato. Beck Bowling Curtis, love your work, Chandel. Thanks, BC. Hayley Milbank, go Reds. Now, I believe uh, Milbank was playing in the Box Nationals earlier this year, so that name's not unfamiliar to me from SA. And we will take a quick break uh, to see out this halftime. We'll be back in just a few minutes. You're watching live and free on the Australian Lacrosse Network.
Welcome back to the 2023 20, Under 18 Australian Lacrosse National Championships. We're about to start the third quarter of this second last game of pool play here at Florid Oval. This championship is being hosted by Lacrosse WA at the Wembley Lacrosse Club and we're super grateful to all the volunteers that have helped out and paid staff this week to put on such a sensational event. Right now the grounds here at Wembley are looking awesome. I don't know how long that's going to last with the wet weather coming, but grounds are pristine, nice and green, great surface to play on, making it a really great tournament for these young guns on the field as Waikato take the field and we start the second half. What do you, what do you reckon is going to happen, Em? Tell me some predictions. And Mia Inge is going to have a big impact in the game? I think so. I think SA may make a little bit of a breakaway, but I think Waikato are definitely not going to let them have it. I think they'll definitely push them to have a really tough second half, I reckon. Yeah, I agree. They just have a never say die attitude, this white cat Absolutely. Team. I feel like everyone needs that kind of attitude, especially playing this game. Yep. This ball is picked up by SA and taken down to their attack. Lawson, so consistent. So consistent. Defended by Hollands. No, sorry, that, is that Hollands 11? Yep, Hollands. Inge with the ball. Great D there by Waikato. Doing the two-man games, I can see on the... Oh, yeah, at the top there. A couple of little two-man games. Really strong D there by Waikato, sending her out. Kelsey Dawson was looking to drive but just couldn't get through, couldn't penetrate. But we've got one here who's made it to get through. Oh, sorry, managed to get through. And um, a big save by the Waikato keeper. We've got oh. an intercept straight away. Few fakes and a beautiful shot. Holly Dinney. How many fakes do you reckon she chucked in there? At least three. That Fake like, high, shoot high. Yeah. <laughs> but that's what you do. <laughs> Try not to. But she makes it work. And so do you. Thank you. As we reset the centre again. Score is 10-3 in favour of South Australia. This has been a great game of lacrosse so far. I'm really loving the physicality and the speed of these athletes. So quick, both teams just run and gun all day. Yep. Ball picked up by Hollands. And say they've got numbers flooding. The ball. Oh my goodness, everywhere. She ran. Bit Hollands of a trip ran. there. And we'll start play. Looking inside, finds Holland, oh. saved by SA. Goalie Kira Voise. Voise from the Brighton Lacrosse Club, the Bombers. Many great athletes have come out of that club, both men's and women's, as SA moved the ball down to defence, sorry, to attack. And Malal defending that ball from Waikato. I love, Em, if you look at all the Waikato defence, how high they've all got their sticks up. Mm -hmm. it's, it makes such a difference to be big in that D. Blocking those passes. Yeah. Looking inside, finds a feeder. Oh, beautiful cut. Another shot by Holly Dinney. Beautiful goal. How many do you reckon she's had this game? Three or four. They've got some really strong players, this SA side. I think at both ends of the field, they're solid. Mm -hmm. I think they may have some of the same shooters every now and then, but it's definitely not just um, one or two people show, doing yeah. the same thing all the time. They're always looking in. Yep. They very much play as a team unit, and you love to see it, particularly at this age group where they're going to start moving into high-performance programs. Absolutely. Leanne Hoxley down on the bench there, giving her girls... A bit of love as the ball is going to go the way of Waikato. Harris with the ball now. Gets it down to Hazlitt. Hazlitt looks inside, found a feed, but didn't manage, didn't decided not to actually take the shot. 
pulled it out wide. There's heaps of space for her to drive. If 17, I don't know what number 17's name is right now, but if she cut through Harris, she makes a huge amount of space for that drive. Big crash by SA. Little pass, a shot, and a save by Voise. Bit of a missed pass there, where Cata will bring that one back in. Thanks to whoever that ball person is on the far side, helping out the players. WA team starting to rock up for their game this afternoon. Can't wait for that one as we see Holland's looking to drive. She's got a player in the middle if she can connect that pass, but the defense is too strong there. Oh, almost a the best kind of intercept from Lily Hayes. Still chasing after the ball. Ball to be retained by Summer Holland, Hampton, sorry. Good Lily pressure Hayes by ball. Waikato. Eleni Lip with the ball, just moving it down to the attack. Finds India Capella. Ball goes Waikato. Capella on defense now, moves it to the Waikato keeper. Great opportunity for Osborne to disrupt that play. Shardlow going for the ball. Waikato come up with it. She's got Hazlitt on this side. Waikato will take it to X. Looking inside for a feed. Knocked down by the SA defense. But oh. that's a ripper. Hampton with that one. Well done, Summer Hampton. That sounds almost like a beautiful resort name, Summer Hampton. It does. <laughs> does, actually. Summer, we've got a business proposition for you. We're going to open some kind of resort in your name. Score is 11-4. We'll do a bit of a time check to see how far we are in to this third quarter. Went over the top of the stick of the SA player and will be brought down by Hollands. About eight and a half minutes left in this third quarter. Ella Malau is giving us some cheers online for Waikato and also Ashton Hat Go Kira. There was a bit of a scuffle in the midfield. Ball's going to go the way of Waikato. Uh, yellow card for India Capella for a check to the head, which means Waikato have a two minute man up advantage. Capella looking a little bit disappointed, and we all are when we get that kind of foul. I know, even though it's not intentional. And we're going to have another card. So that's two players SA have now in the sin bin. What do you reckon she's going to do now? Do you think she'll pull it out and see how the zone goes? Or do you reckon she's going to take it? I mean, look at the players to her left. You'd have to... They're just everywhere. Use them. So it was a four on six in that offence play. Pushing the goalie. Great take down there. Finds a stick of, I think it's Mia Inge. Sorry, it's Holly Dinney. Waikato coach is screaming for the ball to be doubled. They've got two extra players on the field right now and SA just trying to hold 
hold it up. They've got four players in their attack. That is a big challenge. SA are asking for a timeout. I think it has to be on a dead ball. So I believe it has to either go out of bounds or be after a goal. Okay. To be able to have a timeout. Yep, during play. And Holly's just burnt past a couple of white cutter players, taken a shot and scored. That power cradle. Beautiful finish. That was amazing. And, you know, playing a four on six and still able to convert is a huge credit to SA Attack. SA are now calling for a timeout. So I will jump on the comments and see who wants to tell us what's up. Got heaps of comments. Charlotte Wynn again. Love Waikato's aggression. Yeah, I agree with you. Charlotte, they are all day. Amelia Ford, that goal was Natalia, not Summer. Sorry about that. We are doing our absolute best and the, we are a little bit further away up here on the balcony from the play. And Ella Malal, nice Kira. Everyone's, there's heaps of fans for Kira out there. Keep your comments coming. I'd love to hear what you've got to say. but it's all happening down here at the Wembley Lacrosse Club. As the temperature begins to get warmer, the SA, sorry, the WA and Auckland teams are in the house. It is a beautiful 26 degrees down here, not a cloud in the sky. I don't know if you heard, we had a bit of an eclipse here in WA yesterday up in, um, up in Exmouth, which is in the middle of WA towards, if you're heading north, but um, I didn't notice any change in the light here. Everyone was like, oh, it got so dark in Perth. No, it definitely, Felt like there was a little bit of like a filter on everything yeah. slightly. Yeah, and that was but about it. Yeah, definitely not that much of a difference. Yeah. But unfortunately, I hear it was pretty epic though up in Exmouth. And yeah. if you do come to WA, make sure you get up to the Coral Coast up there at Exmouth. It is absolutely, absolutely beautiful. beautiful. We both said Jinx. it at the same time. <laughs> and um, you can swim with the whale sharks, which is such a unique experience. And the turtles, if it's the right time of year. Uh, yes, there's heaps of turtles out at the moment too. Anyway, we digress. Back to lacrosse. As we set up for the centre draw, won by Holly Dinney. Although Ooh. a huge competition with Hazlitt, taken by May. May really strong in carrying the ball. Still two men up for um, Waikato. So I'm interested to see why like, they really should be putting more pressure on the ball. They've got two extra players out on the yeah, field. Yeah, locking off those yeah. adjacents as well. 100%. They're playing a four on, you know, a six on four or a four on six, however you want to look at it. Is Although it looks like Hayley Lawson's just been released or just come back on the field. Um, oh, great save. That card. And I think that Jade Mangan will be coming back on as well for South Australia. And she's back on the field, which means we are at even. So it's back to 10 on 10 on the field. Mangan quickly finding her player. Huge intercept. Ooh, a push there. That's going to be a card. And we'll see Leah Kaisler take a seat for two minutes. SA playing man down again. They're an aggressive team. You know, like, I think, yeah... Be aggressive, but just be careful. Yeah. I love the physicality of lacrosse, but you can't afford to keep playing with that man down. Getting towards the end of the tournament as well, I think a few girls have some cards, so you definitely want to be a little bit more careful and not risk getting carded out of the tournament yeah, and absolutely. finals. Absolutely. As the ball is picked up by Hill, pushed over to Bennett. Bennett couldn't mm, take that unlucky. one, so that'll be an SA ball. Ball being brought back down the field by Josie Shield. Oh, sorry, Jesse Shield. Being carried by Lily Hayes. Strong defense there by Waikato. Just let her slip through a little. Ball's being run down to X. If anyone wonders what we say when we say X in lacrosse, X is generally the spot behind the back of the goals.
crowd calling for backup on that shot and is picked up by Jade Mangan. Looks like SA just trying to hold that ball to wind down that foul. Umpire has called a push. Thinking, I, I thought there was going to be a card yeah, there. Yeah, so did I. It was like she a really long hesitated. Pause. Malau with some strong defence, trying to stop. I think it's Inge. Players down everywhere. SA have 30 seconds left on their foul, their man down advantage, disadvantage, sorry. SA coach is calling for no shot, shut out of this last 30. So this um, toss is basically, there's two players have committed a foul and they're trying to, they don't know who to give it to because they're both equal fouls. So they run a bit of a toss and see who comes up with possession. It looks like SA in this they're case. They're even now. Yeah, and, Le and Leah Kaisler going back on the field for SA. Finds an opening in May. May looking inside. She's got one over the back corner if she can see her. May goes herself. I think she was trying to wait for a foul, but it didn't happen. And the ball is being run out of the defense by Hidakis. Hidakis just cruises past. Finds Harris, SA with another card. I believe this is a yellow red. Yep. I think. I'm pretty sure Kaisler had a card in the last set, so that probably means she is out of the game. I think. Yep, yellow red. Yep. Oh, that's unfortunate. You that sucks. Poor thing. So Wakato had that man up advantage again. See if they can find this open player. Kaisler. Wakato coach is happy with that. Interesting to see where the Wakato players will set up on this free position shot. She's got some options, but she's in the she's at the centre hash. She takes a shot, couldn't quite make that one. Ball to be one, and one by Hill. Oh, that's a moving pick, right? Yeah, so it was called a block, but it, to me that was a. Big moving pick by Hollands. I guess she was just trying to shut her off and give Hill some space. Right idea. Just not Wrong execution. Yeah. I mean, I love picks. I think that you make them work really well, but you just can't jog around. <laughs> you just got to set it. Yeah. As much as you want to move after you set it, you just can't, unfortunately. Coach is yelling for them to hold the ball, so I believe we're just going to see them set something up or just run around and look after the ball for the next. Well, they've got a five-minute disadvantage now because... So yellow-red means that she's off for five minutes, which means they play man down for five minutes. So I'm guessing that SA just want to wind that clock down a bit. But she's going to put pressure on the players on the field because they're not looking to score. It just means they've got to hold it. It's in safe hands over right now, I think. Wakato chasing really hard. Yeah, the umpire running on the bench. Onto the field, sorry. 30 <laughs> seconds left. I do that all the time, so fuck that in. <laughs> Looks inside for a feed, finds a shot. Backed up by SA. And they've called for a time hold. Oh, no, and that's going to be the end of the third. So... <laughs> Quite a good game. It's amazing to see how well SA are handling this pressure with these cards, but um, doing really, really well. Just a couple of shout outs from the comments online. Sam Hissey, up the Reds, Nick Hill, stay in at Waikato, going well, and Carly Newton, go Reds. So both teams have some solid support back home behind them, and I'm really grateful that you've all tuned in today to the Australian Lacrosse Network to watch.
We'll take a short break and we'll be back in just a moment for the final quarter of this game of pool play. You're watching the Australian Lacrosse Network. Welcome back to the final quarter of this game between South Australia and Waikato at the 2023 Under-18 Australian Lacrosse National Championships here at Florian Oval, hosted by Lacrosse WA, home of the Wembley Lacrosse Club. Joining me on special comments today is Emma Green from the Subiaco Lacrosse Club and Emma is also in the Western Australian team that will be heading to Senior Nationals this year. How's that prep going so far, Em? Well, we did have our first training session the other day. Um, we are basically have the same, I would say, very similar team to last year. Awesome. Missing a few numbers, um, but they're um, definitely looking pretty strong, fit and fast. So I'm very excited to see how we go at Senior Nationals. Awesome, Em. Well, I'm going to wish you all the best and I'll be cheering loudly. Thank you. As we take the draw, picked up by Holly Dinney. It looks like she's going to get possession and she does. Looking for Inge. Inge being guarded closely by Malal there, and they're looking to double her pretty early. Um, SA are still man down because of the yellow red card, which means SA are, now, are playing with a five minute man down scenario on the field, which means that pretty much Waikato can double every ball for the next few minutes. Although SA are doing a great job through Kelsey Lawson running off that defend or running off those defenders. And ball will find its way to Lily Hayes. Hayes taking it to X. This is definitely going to be hard work for the next five minutes for these Waikato girls. Yeah. yeah, well, they've got to chase every ball. I mean, it's hard for SA to retain possession and hold it. But it's, you know, it just means that Waikato's defense has to adjust and, and make sure they know who the chaser is. Exactly. Both teams working equally hard. Although it looks like there is a foul. Player's been put off the field. They're that. Both of them. And the SA just cruising around with the ball, waiting for the double to come. Finds its way back to Holly Dinney. Waikato coaches yelling at their girls to push out and put some pressure, send those doubles, and here it starts to come. Little Fumble couldn't take that ball. I don't know if that ball hit the foot of a Waikato player, but doesn't matter. SA seem to... Have got the ball back. They've got May in the middle if she can make that pass. Although the Waikato is putting some extreme pressure now on the South Australian keeper. She's taken it so well. Absolutely. Wow. All teams happy with that play. I think if you're Waikato or if you're SA, you'd be happy with how As the defence came out and really pushed that goalie and the, ball, the goalie really held her own and maintain that possession. Waikato with the ball now at X. Hill with the ball. Looking to Hollands. Oh. Picked off by May. Good intercept there. As May makes her way down to defense. May from the Burnside Lacrosse Club. Go the Bears.
And now we're back to even. So Kate Osborne has come on for South Australia. So there's no disadvantage or man up advantage to either team. And we're playing a six on six in SA's offense. Backed up by Kate Osborne, gets on the field and gets the ball immediately. Might have been a little bit of a check on that. Yeah, which that sent 1%. it high. Yeah. Don't you hate those last little checks when you're just about to take a shot? So frustrating. And you're like, oh, I had it where I wanted it to be. But good on the, the defender to make that contact on that kind of shot. Looks like SA are playing a little bit of a crease girl. Pops a shot, but just couldn't get that one on the right side of the pipe and is backed up by SA. Coach is calling for Bridget from Waikato to make contact. As the ball moves around South Australia's attacking zone. Kate Osborne with the ball. Great cover. Um, sorry, we're kind of doing a great job covering those um, cuts. As May finds space, oh, bumps it over there. to Holly Dinney for a little shot on the crease. Way to draw the, um, the contact there by May to, to find an opening for Dinney. Got the SA boys have just arrived here now to watch their SA girls. They're giving me waves from the down on the, the grounds. So we set up again for probably getting close to one of our final centre draws for the game. Waikato coach is saying that that defence was a solid holdout and I actually agree with them. Great job, Waikato. India Capella in the centre for South Australia. Great pick up by Laurent there. Got the ball down to, who am I looking at? Bigham. It's turned over though and being brought out of SA's attack. Sorry, a defence straight into their attack. Pressure taken really well. They carry the ball so well. That's Alani Lip. Oh, great intercept. Ingram with that one. Carly Newton watching online saying, yes, SA. Oliver Walsh, Wendy putting the co putting on a mo coaching masterclass. Well, I would absolutely agree with you. She is a fantastic coach. And Addie Malal, go Malal. She has been phenomenal all day. She has got some wheels and we love to see it as Waikato look to penetrate South Australia's defence. Couldn't get through. And it looks like we'll be setting up for a free shot on the 15 metre for Hazlitt. Hazlitt. Just holding time a moment for a shoelace. Let that happen. We'll just keep talking in the meantime. And there's a little switch getting Holly Dinney into the defence and Capella out. Ball's turned over. And run very quickly out of SA's defence into their attack. Holland's on the ball. Finds Dinny inside and a shot and a beautiful, oh, beautiful. goal. Beautiful. Great look inside there, actually. Yeah. You see so much maturity like that from this SA team. Yep. Absolutely. Definitely had her head up looking for an option and found it in Dinny. Dinny's had a fantastic game. Obviously, a leader in this. Her team. whole tournament, in fact, has actually been incredible. Always give credit where credit is due, hey? Absolutely. Back to the centre. SA coaches haven't put their sticks down all day. They love it. And 
As we set up, we've got Indica, Indy Capella in the centre versus Nicole Hollands. That draw is going to go the way of Wakato. Looks like there was an illegal procedure by Capella. And she's found an opening. Bit of a push, I believe. So I think Hollands is bringing that one back in. Yep, she is. Hill with the ball. Oh, look at that. Hill saw an opportunity and went for it. Pearson down in the attack line now for Waikato. So we're girls are free around. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Even the crowd had a few comments. My boys in the tech box were like, ooh, thinking that was bouncing in. But I did go wide of the cage and being brought back in by SA. Fortunately, you can't quite count that as a shot. No. Although you'd like to, wouldn't you? I mean, yeah, if it goes absolutely. in, you're like, well, it is a shot then, huh? Osborne with it now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We've got a card. I'm not sure what that was for, though. Who's taking a seat, Em? Number 16 from Waikato. We've also got a bit of a spiel down in front of us. Emma and I are trying so hard not to laugh. We've got Roxanne Levy, the wonderful Roxanne Levy from WA Lacrosse. She's wheeling a cart full of lacrosse balls <laughs> up the hill and it's fallen over and lacrosse balls have rolled all the way down the hill and Emma and I are trying so hard not to laugh. But we have to with that rocks and everything she does. And meanwhile, there's been a goal by SA. Hayley Lawson, beautiful goal. <laughs> As we giggle about the the card of lacrosse balls. It's like something from a comedy show. We've got a quick timeout, I think. No, we don't have a timeout. Just a goal. As time ticks down in this game. With about four and a half minutes left in play here at the Under-18 Australian Lacrosse National Championships. Ashton Hack says, let's go Osborne, Charlotte Weenan. Don't miss Dinny. No pressure, Charlotte. And Thomas Tuxford says, Dinny, what a superstar. I agree. She's had an absolute ripper of a game as we set up for the centre draw. Special shout out to Taylor Danby, Subiaco Lacrosse Club. Oh, of doing course. <laughs> the ref down there doing a great job. Recently recovered from an ACL and back in the zebra stripes, but also playing for Subi. And a shot by that Holland. That was a beautiful take. Oh, that was a bit of a worm burner. And they're loving it, the Waikato girls, getting around her. Yeah, that was definitely a catch under pressure. It's a warm down, day down here at Wembley. We've got the flags flying. As we get towards the end of this second last game of pool play at the championships. There is an illegal procedure. And the ball is going to go the way of Waikato. Seems to be a break on Capella. SA really marking her early, putting that pressure on before, while they're trying to get the ball out of their midfield. And it's picked up by Inge, I think. Looks like it. She's been dynamite all day. Oh, what a shot. Goes wide. Backed up by Waikato. Bennett, I think, has the ball. Is it Bennett? May. Oh, 
ball's been run out of the defense by number 15, Banks. Is it Banks? No, oh, Hadaka, sorry. Ooh, that looked like a bit of a tap to the head, but the play on was a call. There was an umpire right by that. So maybe no foul. There is a foul, it looks like, across the shoulder. And Waikato will take the ball. Ingram with that one now. Looking for support. A lot of SA in front of her. Got Malal out here on the wing if she wants to use her, but she's going to cruise on past. She makes it look easy. She does. Looking to drive or looking inside for an option. She's got support at X if she needs it, which she decides to take. Ball makes its way around the back of the goals. For a pass inside, couldn't connect, although, nope. Lily Hayes came charging through to disrupt that, but Waikato have got the ball back. Holly Harris with it now. Looking for a little shot. I think that was Summer Hampton. Hollands, I believe. Oh, sorry. Thanks for that, Em. As SA run the ball out of their defense through Keely Shardo. Ball with Kate Osborne, taking the pressure well. Find support in Hayley Lawson. I think Lawson also played in the Under-15 National Championships last year. Tried to get it off to Jesse Shield, but couldn't. Ball's coming back from the keeper to Malal. A lot of running. It's been quite a while since we've had a goal. Yeah. I think both teams need to just get it down and set it up just because yeah. considering how hot it is, it'd be yeah. good just to have a little bit of a break. Bit of strategic play. Big body there, but play on's a call. Yeah, let's see what they do with it. Oh, is that a charge? Mm. Nope. Calls a push. Calls for a push. Hayes chasing that ball down. Looking to shoot. Decides to take it out. Find support in Kate Osborne. Alana Igg with the ball. Holland's been called for a foul. And that is the game. So SA take this one out 15 to 5, I believe. We thank you for tuning in. M, MVPs, who you got? Oh, it's a tough one. I, I'm actually not too sure. I feel like there was quite a few really solid players out there today. So I don't know. I feel like it could be anyone's, to be honest. Yeah, it's hard to pick, isn't it? I um. I don't know. I'm like looking at that SA group. They are strong. I don't know if Dinny's had an MVP yet, but she would definitely be up there for me. Yeah, also, same with for Waikato. I feel like what, both of the Hollands have played really well today. Yep, and also well. Osborne, Kate Osborne for me, number eight from SA. She's been good. Absolutely. Um, yeah, they. I mean, it's when you have such a great player group, to, to pick one and say you were the best is, is so hard. Um, if only you could give it out to at least three. I would know. Be good. Can we have three medals, please? Or can we have an, an ALN MVP vote? Anyway, we'll um, wrap it up there. We thank you for tuning in today on the Australian Lacrosse Network. My name is Shenda Oliver. I was joined today by Emma Green from the Subiaco Lacrosse Club. Uh, next game we have will be in, I think, about half an hour, which is Western Australia taking on Auckland. We hope you tune in for that game. Feel free to jump on the Facebook page and leave us some comments. And um, we'll see you soon at the late, sorry, we'll see you later in the day for the next game. You're watching the Australian Lacrosse Network.